Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Geminis. Welcome back, Gems. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Gems. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the Soul family. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate you. And welcome back to my returning subscribers as well. Thank you for your comments and your feedback as always down below. And welcome, Gems, to the ones that are new here. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit as well, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And definitely come and check us out on Patreon as well. All right, we're going to dive directly into your general love reading today with some tarot. We're going to see who is in your energy gems and why, all right? If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below in the description box. Definitely take here what resonates, gems, and leave here on the table what does not, all right? So no further ado, let's dive into your general love reading here today, gems. I hope all has been well, all right? Spirit team, what do we have here for my beautiful Geminis? What do they need to know when it comes to their love life? What's going on in Gemini placements, love life here? What do we have for the collective placements for Gemini? What do we have for the gems? What's going on in Gemini's love life here? Whoa, okay. All right. We have several cards that jumped out here. We have the Queen of Cups here. Some of y'all could be dating or exchanging energies with the Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. All right, this could be a mother figure here or a father figure. This could be a queen or a king of cups here. All right, we also have here the knight of pentacles. This is earth energy here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Someone wants to bring you an offer here, Gemini. All right, someone also has feelings for you. Whoever this person here is that is in your energy. All right, wow, we have the ace of pentacles here. Some of y'all, there's some type of new commitment offer here. This could be pertaining to your love life romantically wise, or this could even be a new offer of a commitment when it comes to a new job offer here as well for others of you all. So if you apply for a new position or a new job, this is confirmation for you. Uh, this also indicates a new financial opportunity here as well and when it comes to love and romance this is a new love offer of a commitment okay so wow i love it now we have the ten of wands here so this is indicating to me gems that you have recently just ended a relationship or a person or a place or a thing here that you no longer feel that you are resonating with anymore okay the ten of wands talks about overcoming obstacles and challenges and burdens okay so you realize that whoever you may were in a relationship with or if this was a particular job you were working in here is no longer required it you're no longer interested in it you took on more than what you could handle you bid on more than what you could chew type of situation here all right you put in a lot of hard work an effort into this person, this place, or whatever this may be for you. It's going to be different for everyone. Definitely go check out your previous reading for your career and finance energy check-in that I've done for you all as well, because this may resonate for you as well with this financial opportunity here for others of you all that is coming in as well, okay? And others of you all, you have a commitment when it comes to your love life. Someone wants to commit to you now. Okay, some of y'all, again, it could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, Gemini, or this could be a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces here that is looking forward to a commitment with you, or this could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius here with the Ten of Wands, a Leo, or an Aries here, okay? Wow, so let's clarify the energies here, okay? Let's clarify to see what the Queen of Cups here is for you all. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here? Clarify the Queen of Cups energy here for the Geminis. 
Wow, gems, if the reading here so far is resonating for you, again, smash that like button, all right? Show some love. That'd be very much appreciated. Let's see. We got the Six of Pentacles and we got the Six of Cups, all right? Six, six could be very significant here. Some of y'all may be seeing the number six. Uh, the day or birthday could be with the number six in it, or that could be a life path number for some of you all, all right? Six also represents family partnerships as well coming together as a union all right so some of y'all there's definitely someone here that still has feelings for you they love you this is someone for some of y'all that's returning from your past here with the six of cups or your past life okay but someone here wants to come in and give you the effort the time that you are deserving of they actually want to put in that time so it kind of feels like whoever this person that you put the effort and time in in the past, and now that you're overwhelmed and you're drained, now they want to come in and either make that up and put in the work where they were lacking at here, or this could be someone new again with the Ace of Pentacles here. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles energy here, please. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles energy here for Gemini? Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles energy here for the gems? Wow, the Two of Cups. I told you somebody is in love with you. Or this is a very person here that you've dated in the past and they still got feelings for you. Yeah, look at that. They're coming in with an apology for some of you all. So someone wants to apologize to you for putting you through whatever burden or you having to take on all the work in this relationship or put in all the work in this relationship, someone wants to fix that. And by doing that, they're wanting to come in and apologize to you with the Knight of Cups energy here. I immediately got that energy from that card here. Again, some of y'all, this could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Gemini, that's wanting to apologize to you, or a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Wow, let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles here. Why do we have the Ace of Pentacles here for Gemini? Again, definitely if you would love to book a personal reading, if you kind of want to see what's next for you and this person in the future or what's the potential outcome here, again, my email details are down below in the description box, Gems, if you would love to book a personal reading, okay? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles here. Wow, we have the Tower, Scorpio energy, Aquarius, Libra energy here, Gemini energy. So you found out that this person was not being honest to you and that they lied to you about a situation in the past or done some type of deception here for you to have to pull your energy back from this person. Yeah, this could have been someone that you were in a relationship with or more so a commitment. This could have been someone that you were married to or this could have even been um, the mother or the father of your child here that you had established a relationship here with once before. Others of you all, this is just someone that you simply had a long-term commitment here with. We got the King of Swords energy here. All right, I do see you setting boundaries for this individual here, okay? Because we got the Queen and the King out here. So some of you all, this was definitely someone that was a counterpart of yours. But let's see how do you feel about this person that's coming in now. Because with the Ten of Wands, that talks about putting the burdens and things to an end. No longer carrying the weight on your own. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Why do we have the Ten of Wands here? With that tower, I feel like this is what was exposed here. You finding out that this person was not being honest with you. They're definitely watching you and observing you as well. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Why wow, we have this? I told you the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. This person is still inspired by you. You know, whatever it is that you do, maybe in the public or within your community or within your family or within your working environment, they've always been inspired by you. They've always seen you as a good person, even though they didn't do such good things to you or for you. But they've always seen you as a good person, a very inspirational type of energy here. And the Three of Pentacles indicates that this person wants to come in and collaborate and work this out here, okay? They do see this relationship as being successful here, 
Wow. Let's see what this person here wants to say, Gems. You got what I want. Wow. Yeah, that's the energy that I was picking up earlier about this person here. We got, I can't wait any longer, okay? Someone here is running out of patience here, okay? The more they watch you, observe you, and be more inspired and attractive to you, the more they can't wait any longer here, okay? Wow, look at that. I see you in my dreams, okay? This person thinks about you a lot, and they even see you here in their dreams here, Jims. Wow, we got time to move on, okay? Some of y'all, this person here is in a space and environment where they know they got to do better. They know it's time to move on. I feel like some of y'all, you were this way towards this person here. And then we got, yep, I did it. Wow. So I feel like that's the information here that's going to be exposed with that tower here. Someone is also coming in to confess to you of what they've done here that they know that was not right here. Wow. And as soon as I said that, look at that. Someone is sneaking around. Wow. So some of y'all, you found out that this person was sneaking around maybe with someone else or that this person for some of y'all was sneaking around and watching you as always here. Okay. Wow, Gems. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Again, definitely if you would love to book a personal reading to get more insight here or to see how this connects with your personal reading, you're welcome to reach me. My email is below in the description box. Again, thank you so much, Soul Tribe. Thank you so much, returning subscribers, for your support. And welcome again to the ones that are new here. Definitely come and check us out on Patreon, Gems, if you would love more content here from the channel. Thank you all so much for listening today. And I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. I love you, Gems. Bye-bye.